What's up guys, good evening. Welcome to Supercars of London. And as you can see, well, one, I've got a massive smile on my face. Two, I've got the Audi R8 behind me. And uh, this is the first drive that I've done in two weeks. And um, you're probably thinking, how did I get here? Back at the haunted old people's home. This is the first time that I've been here in 2015. But I've already started the video. The video started at SB Race Engineering after I put it out, of, got it out of storage. They did a health check. They went over it, 2015 health check. So the car is absolutely pristine in the best condition. And I cannot wait to show you guys this video. What happened today um, is, or what's going to happen now, is I am going to, one, grab my lunch, two, go to the cinema to pick up tonight's tickets and I'm going to be taking the long route which I've already explained in the videos that have already uh, been filmed on the way here um, but there's also the return of the F1 hum exhaust tone which I've just driven here it's taken 10 minutes for me to drive here and it sounds phenomenal so I'm going to try and find some tunnels as well for you guys to hear what an incredible car this sounds like and to have it back after two weeks of uh, one being in America and then in the second week I knew that I wasn't going to be able to drive it too much I had a lot going on in the office but I was also driving the Aston Martin DBS and Lamborghini LP560 of Mr. Supercar Hire, which yeah, actually doesn't live too far away from here. Um, so maybe he'll hear me start up and drive in this car to, again. But it is fantastic to have this car back. The sun's out, even though it was wet this morning and it's still quite windy and cold. So I've got to be careful on the roads, but here we go. Let's jump back in, start it up, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first drive, the first few miles that I've done in this car for the past two weeks. In those two weeks, I've driven Fiat 500, Aston Martin DBS Volante, and a Lamborghini LP560 Spider, thanks to Mr. Uh, Mr. Supercar Hire, and of course, my girlfriend. So now, I'm back in the driver's seat of my own car, and um, the route for today is uh, lunch, cinema, to pick up cinema tickets for tonight, and where am I, am I going to go? I'm not too sure, but wherever I'm going, I'm going to take the long route. The car has been switched on. Into first, handbrake down, valves on. My car got the F1 hum tone back. This could be the best thing ever. I need to obviously get to um, a road. Sounds as though the hum's back, which sounds awesome. <laughs> my, my car has got the F1 hum tone, which I made a video on uh, two or three months ago. Basically, the Armitrix exhaust has um, the uh, fiberglass in it when once you've burnt it out it just becomes a lot louder and I was in a transition period where I was having um, the difference between the muscle tone and the F1 tone but now just doing a quick acceleration there I'm almost certain the F1 tone is back <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun I hope you did. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm so confused about how this video is going to be edited. I apologize uh, for confusing you as well, whether you've seen this clip already in the video. But as far as I wanted to film, I wanted to make sure that you saw the first few miles of me driving this car, how much of a smiley put on my face. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna be edited. Anyway, I'm driving now. Got the heated seats on, it's fantastic. It is quite cold, it's, it's only five degrees. My car's telling me it's only five degrees, which means the tarmac is cold. But, this car is quick. By no means as fast as the Lamborghini that I drove last week or the Aston Martin as well. They're both a lot faster than this car, but because this has got more manageable power, I do sometimes feel that it's a bit more fun. Come around here. Ooh. Turning the valves back off because I want to be able to talk to you. Every time. My heart races. This is a phenomenal car. And do you know what? Towards the end of 2014, some of the Living With A Supercar videos that I did, I want to redo. Firstly, the running costs, because a lot of people have viewed that video, and a lot of people have their own opinions on what I said. So I want to try and make it as simple as possible for everyone to understand that this is not an unreliable car. Yes, I had the problem in Paris, which wasn't the clutch. If it was the clutch, then that was like four grand worth of replacement. It was a clutch master cylinder, which is to do with the clutch pedal. It's not to do with the actual clutch that changes the gears, it's to do with the clutch pedal. Um, and that was really, I think it was, it cost me about 150 quid. So wasn't a big deal as well and then the engine light that kept flickering on and off I mean my Vauxhall Astra had an engine light on as well and it meant absolutely nothing and uh, so firstly I want to do the running costs video Jesus the Sun I was just saying how wonderful it is that the Sun's out but now I'm complaining Two, I want to uh, talk about whether you can drive this car every day because for some reason during November when I filmed can you drive this car every day I was really negative Maybe I'd woken up on the wrong side of the bed or whatever it was. I want to do a video of, of a video clip every day for seven days, the whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and talk about why you can drive this car every day. Why Audi have built a supercar that you can use every day. I'll tell you what though, when the sun's out, can't see the, uh, can't see the traffic lights. But I'm first at the lights. That Nissan Micra had no chance. That was like one of the best downshifts I've ever done. Window down. Me shut up. First gear. I'm going to stay in first gear the whole time. It may spin the wheels. <laughs> the car slid as well. The car slid. 